So we are getting ready for our last book and our last craft. So we are doing a house for hermit crab today. This is Friday and our craft today, here's the things you're gonna need. These are probably the things that are left in your bag. So you're gonna need this red piece of paper. You're gonna need this long blue one, this one like this. And if you used this one before, you could use the dark blue one. And then you're gonna need this fun piece of paper. It looks like a snail shell, a hermit crab shell. You'll need scissors and you'll need your sequins and Elmer's glue and a glue stick. Now, you'll have to decide, you get to choose whether you want to paint the shell for your hermit crab, and if so, you're gonna get your paints and some water, or you can use crayon, which is what I'm gonna to do today, or you could even use marker. This is really up to you, okay? All right, so I'm gonna prop the camera up over here so we can get started. All right, so give me just a minute, sorry about my finger, till we figure out the right distance. I think that looks good. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna come around. All right, here we go, everybody. Okay, this has been such a fun week. I hope you've had fun, boys and girls, doing all the fun things and all the special things uh, for our Eric Carl week. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna put this to the side. We're gonna get a red piece of paper and we're gonna choose a marker or a crayon. You decide, doesn't really matter which one. I'm gonna grab a magic marker. All right, so the first thing we have to do is trace our hand because this is gonna be the body of our hermit crab. Now, mine's gonna come out a lot bigger than yours because I have a pretty big hand. So I'm gonna take off my watch here. Okay, so you're gonna lay your hand down like this. If you've never done this before, I'll show you how to do this. My, Some of you already, I'm sure, have done this. So you wanna lay your hand in the middle of the paper, okay? And you can spread your fingers out really wide or you can put them a little bit like this. Not all the way in though, because we're gonna, these are gonna be the legs of your hermit crab, okay? Then start on one side and just trace around, keeping it nice and close to your fingers. Now, when you're done, you may find out that you end up getting some marker on your hands and that's okay, no big deal. Okay, ta-da. All right, now, you always have this space at the bottom. All we're gonna do is make a little line across like that, okay? All right, now, this is a little tricky, okay? So we're gonna cut out the hand. Now, the trick to cutting out your hand is you wanna go nice and slow, and you're gonna be turning the paper a lot, okay? And if you decide you need a grown-up's help with this, feel free to ask your grown-up to help you, because this can be a little bit tricky when you're going through the fingers. And we don't wanna turn our scissors this way, so I'll show you how this is gonna work, okay? So we're gonna start cutting on the right side. All right, I'm gonna come along here. All right, now, I'm not gonna turn the scissors. I'm gonna start turning, see how I'm pushing this? Turning the paper, and I'm cutting as I go. And then I go down, 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 down. And then I have to stop. I have to turn the paper all the way around. And cut around the finger. And there's going to be a lot of this back and forth. And sometimes I'll cut straight across and it gets rid of that extra paper. Because I find it easier not to have that extra paper. All right, so here we go. You'll notice the scissors are always facing away from me when I do this. Okay, and so when I get down here, I've got to pull the scissors out, turn the hand around, and slide the scissors back in and keep on cutting. There we go. And back and forth we go. All right. It takes a little practice. Okay, so you keep working on that. And right, you're going to keep cutting all the way around. And there you go. All right, so if you're still cutting and you need a minute, go ahead and pause the video. That way you can catch up. Don't worry if it's taking time because this can be a little bit challenging. All right, so once you have that cut out, we're just gonna put that to the side. We're gonna get back to that, okay? All righty. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our shell. This is our 
shell for our hermit crab. You can see just like he has like this. So it's actually gonna go this way. Ta-da! Okay, all right. And I love this shape. Do you see how there's those dotted lines? What we're gonna do is just like his shell is we're gonna choose what color you would like and we're going to trace around that so we can really see that swirl on the hermit crab. So here's where you get to pick whatever color you want. And I've decided I wanted to use crayon for my hermit crab. So I'm gonna have a big basket of crayons here, all kinds of good colors. I'm gonna put this right over here. And I think I'm gonna make mine. Ooh, I see a nice color here, a little bit pinkish red. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. See the dot in the middle? If you put your finger on that, we're gonna start on that dot and we're gonna follow this all the way around until we get to the end and we're gonna trace it as we go. So it's like making a big, long, winding road. Okay, you ready? All right, start in the middle and then you're gonna just follow the dotted lines around and around. I'm gonna stop for a minute so you can see. See, so far? So I went like this, and now I'm here, and I'm just gonna keep going around and around and around. There we go, gotta come down and around again. And around and around and around and around. And up, 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 up. Okay, I'm coming over the top now. I'm gonna come down here, and I'm just gonna come right to the end there. Do, 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 do. And stop. There we go. Now we can really see the nice swirlies. Okay, so the next part is if you decide you want to use your paints, this is where you're going to take your paints and you're going to go ahead and paint in here on your hermit crab shell just like we did when we made the seahorse. So if you would like to paint yours, feel free to use your paints. You could also use magic marker or you could use crayon. Now our hermit crab has a fair bit of white on his shell and then some splotches of color. But again, that's the fun of this. This is your very own hermit crab. So you get to color your hermit crab whatever way you want, okay? All right, so let's go take some time to color our hermit crab. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a few of my favorite colors out of my crayon box here. Mm, let's see. Here's some fun ones. I got some greens and some blues and some purples. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start coloring some parts of my hermit crab shell. And I can color big sections, or I can color small sections. I'm gonna take my time and really give that shell some pretty, pretty color. Okay, oh, that's nice. I like that. What do you think? All right, I'm gonna do some blue like that. I'm gonna change now and do a little orange. I like how Eric Carl makes those pictures. He just splotches color in lots of different places. It's really, really fun. All right, so maybe I'll do some orange in here, like this. Well, that's kind of fun. Maybe I'll even add a little orange on this part. I really like that color. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna to change to some green. Oh, let's do some green in here. Oh, it's like a yellow green, that's really pretty. Okay, so you go ahead and you color in your shell any way you want. Now, if you're gonna use paint, go ahead and paint that shell, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to let that dry before we come back and do the next part, okay? All right, so I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna go ahead and finish coloring mine and then I'll pop back on and you'll see what mine looks like and you can have some time to do yours, okay? All right, so come back when you're done. Okay, here we go. So I'm back and I have finished coloring my shell. So there's what mine looks like. Can't wait to see what yours looks like. So boys and girls, when you finish this craft, we're not gonna have another Zoom uh, because it will be Friday and we don't meet on Saturday. So once you finish your hermit crab picture, please have your parents take a picture of it and send it to Mrs. Leghorn and I because we really wanna see how your craft looks when it's done, okay? All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors again and we're just gonna cut around the outside of the shell. We're not gonna go inside here. We're just gonna go around the outside of the shell, all right? So grab your scissors and go ahead and start cutting around the shell, taking your time. That way you stay nice and close to the line, not 
shell will keep its nice round shape. Okay. There we go. You just keep going in that circle. Round and around and around and around. your shell. All right, so now you're going to need your hand and your shell and your glue stick. Okay, all right. So open up your glue stick, turn it so it comes up out of the top. There we go. Got some pretty sunlight coming in the window. Okay, so this part here where it slants down is sort of the um, top part where the hermit crab's head is. So you want to lay this on the page, maybe not quite in the middle, maybe right about there. This is your hermit crab. These are going to be the legs. We're going to make these this part right here. We're going to make the eyes. We're going to draw those on. Okay, so we're going to slide this in kind of like that. So you can see the fingers coming out. The only finger you're not going to see is your thumb. That's going to be kind of tucked underneath there like that, okay? All right, so what you want to do then is pick up the, sh the shell, okay, and move it over, and then we're going to just pick up the hand and turn it over. We'll put glue all over the back of the hand. There we go. And then we'll lay the hand back down about where we had it before. Oops, got to pick it up. You probably get a little on your fingers. All right, so there's the hand. The thumb's over here. Now flatten those legs down, okay, and then turn your shell over and put glue all the way around the outside. There we go, beautiful. Okay, there we are. All right, you flip it over. Okay, now this little part right here that slants down, that's gonna kind of cover up the thumb part, and we're gonna leave that part showing. Oh, I kind of like that. You can kind of decide how you want that to tilt. All right, press that down really well. That might need a little extra glue because that paper's a little bit thicker. So I'm going to add a little more under here. There we go. Get a little more under here. Okay. All right, so we're not even close to being done. We've got a lot more fun things to do. But for our hermit crab shell, this is where we're going to use some of these pretty sequins. All right, because you can see there's sort of some sparkly spots on the back of our hermit crab there. Okay, so we're going to use some of these sequins just to make that a little bit more sparkly. Okay, so go ahead and take some of those sequins out. You don't need a lot, just a little pinch full. And you can save anything you have left, you can save and use for other projects. So I'm going to lay these out here so I can kind of see the color. And then like before, you want to use your Elmer's glue for this. And you only need a little dot of glue. See that little dot right there? And then a little tap. Remember this when we did the seahorse, right? Just a little bit of glue. And you can put them anywhere on the shell that you like. I kind of like, I'm going to put mine sort of on the lines and just sort of spread them out a little bit. This just gives it a little bit of fun sparkle. You can imagine that hermit crab being sparkly in the water, huh? All right, so I'm probably going to use maybe about seven or eight of these. Maybe more, maybe less, but I'm not going to use too many. Just enough to give it a little sparkly, sparkly right along those lines. I really like the red ones. They are quite fun. And there we go. What do you think? Maybe one more? Hmm, maybe one right here. Oh, that's fun. Okay. Mm. No, I think I'm good. I think I like that. I'm going to stop there. Okay. So when you're happy with your sparklies, close up your glue. Okay. So now our hermit crab is going to need some eyes. So we're going to need to get a red uh, magic marker or a red crayon. Okay. And I'm going to use a magic marker for this part. All right. So we have to make eyes. Now you'll notice for the hermit crab, when we make eyes, there's a line going up with a circle on top, okay? So we're gonna make those two lines coming out of the top of your hand, okay? So it kind of looks like this. All right, there's one, kind of like that. You put one on there, 
Awesome. All right, here we go. And here's two, and you can make them close together or far apart. You get to decide it's your hermit crab, okay? Then on the tops of those eyes, you're gonna make little circles, like that one, and two, okay? Might even make mine a little bit bigger. All right, and then you'll come back with a black marker. Oh, here's my black marker right here, and just make little circles inside the circles for his little eyeballs, or hers, depending on what kind you're making. Okay, so there's our eyes for our hermit crab. Okay, oh, the other thing you could use, boys and girls, if you have any of, let me get my goodies out here. If you have any of your eyes left, your sticker eyes, let me see if I have some. Um, let's see. If you have any of those, oh, I do. Oh, fun, yes, if you have any of these sticker eyes, that we gave to you. You could certainly peel those off and you could put those on as well. That might even be more fun if you would like to do that. So here you go. So the ones I have have little eyelashes. So if you want to, you could still put those on top of your hermit crab like that. And if you don't like those, if you like the ones you drew, you can just take those off, okay? So you decide, boys and girls, which way you'd like your hermit crab to be. Okay. Now, we've got our hermit crab done, and boy, they look really adorable. I can't wait to see yours. Now, we wanna make some sand, okay? So you'll notice that the sand in this book, it isn't just brown on the bottom. It has some greenish color in it, a little bit of red and some pink, and then here we see it's a little bit more brown. So you can kind of decide what you'd like the sand or the bottom right, of the ocean to look like, because it has a lot of different textures and colors to it. So. I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab some crayons. I wanna do some brown, um, and I'm gonna do some, oops, um, a little bit of orange, I think, that I saw on that one page, those speckles. And then, so down here, we can make a little bit of sand, and that can be sort of squiggly, or it could be dots like that. So you decide how you want your sand to look. This is kind of like, when you made the seahorse, sometimes if you hold a crayon on its side and push it like that, oh, isn't that neat? That kind of looks like the grainy texture of sand, doesn't it? All right, so we're gonna make some sand on the bottom of our ocean here where our hermit crab is wandering along. And sand isn't always flat either. It can be sort of bumpy and lumpy and have some different rocks or other sparkly things in it. So I'm gonna then add a little bit of orange to my sand. You can do the same thing with magic marker and just sort of go along and make some different swirly colors in your sand. Or turn that crayon on its side and there. Ah, I like that, what do you think? Yeah, I'll bet yours is beautiful. Okay, now the last part is Hermit crab met a lot of friends on the way. So a house for hermit crab went by month by month, starting in January, and there are 12 months in a year. And so each month the hermit crab was encountering a different creature that it wanted to add to its house. And if you remember, the first thing it encountered that it liked was a sea anemone. There's that hard word to say. So we're gonna go ahead and draw these. Now, hermit crab put all of those things on top of his shell. So if you would like to draw your things, we're gonna maybe draw them around the shell, or maybe even one might be holding one of these objects. See here how the hermit crab is holding one of those sea anemones. So to draw a sea anemone, we're gonna need some green and maybe some orange and reddish colors. All right, so pick out your greens and your oranges and reds. There we go. Let's see if I can find a green. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my sea anemone, because you remember as he went along, right, those things were piled up on his shell, weren't they? So I'm gonna draw my sea anemone. So that's just making, oh, I gotta be careful because these are still a little bit wet. So that's making like a line, like a little trunk, almost like the trunk of a tree, like that. I'll show you the picture, that's what it looks like. And then you just sort of have these squiggly arms 
coming off that sea anemone. Some are orange and some are red. Ooh, there we go. Let me show you mine. See, that doesn't have to be very big, right? We're going to have to fit a lot of creatures on there, aren't we? So there's a little sea anemone. That was the first creature that the hermit crab said, ooh, I would like that on my back because, or on my home, because it's beautiful, okay? All right, so the next thing it picked up was a hermit, or um, I'm sorry, a hermit crab, a starfish, because it said, oh, how handsome you are. So this starfish is sort of a bluish green. You can really make yours any color you want. I'm gonna grab sort of a dark blue so it shows up. And now you can make a starfish. And as you can see, that hermit crab stuck that starfish right there. So you wanna draw it right there on your hermit crab. You can, or it could be out here on the side. So I'm sort of gonna make mine kind of on the outside of the shell. And so you're just making one, two, three, four, five arms. See, just sort of like a star. So it's just like making five lines going across There we go. There we picked up our starfish. All right, what's next? Oh, next we picked up a piece of coral. And that was this right here, right? That was the crusty coral, right? So that's brown and it looks just a little bit like a tree without leaves. Let me find my brown. All right, and so then again, hermit crab picked it up, stuck it right up there by the sea anemone. So I think I'll draw mine up here. So that's just, again, kind of like a tree. So you make kind of the base of the tree and then you just make some fun branches sticking out of that coral. It goes up and up like that. Kind of twisty and old looking, huh? There's a nice piece of coral. All right, so we've got our coral, our sea anemone, and our starfish. Okay, next, do you remember what came next? Oh yes, these little snails and they are pink with a brown shell. All right, so let's see where the snail ended up. And he liked the snails because they were tidy and hardworking. Oh, so the snail's right here, climbing over on the back. So I think I'll put my snail right here. So the easiest way to make a snail is you make the body first, which is sort of like an oval, sort of like that. Can you see that okay? Let me move that up so we can see. There's a little oval. And then we're gonna make sort of the same curly cue shape on the back, just like our hermit crab has. Only I'm gonna use brown for that, and we're gonna just make it small. So and if you need your grown-ups to help you with that, that's okay. All right, so there's our little, I'm gonna add a little dark blue to that so we can really see that. There's our little shell, and that little snail usually has little antenna sticking up like that. And I might color that shell in with some brown. There we go. All right, so we've got a snail, a starfish, a sea anemone, some coral, and then what came next? Do you remember what that was called? Oh, that was the sea urchin, right? It was very prickly, wasn't it? So this one's just gonna be like a lot of really sharp looking lines. It looks like kind of a dark purple to me, so I'm gonna see if I can find myself a dark purple. Let's see, purple. Oh yeah, here's some purple. Oh, that's light purple, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, so let's see, where did he put the sea urchin? So this he thought would be good for protection, and I have to agree. So it's kind of down here on the bottom by the sand. So down here, I'm gonna make this prickly, let's see, is this purple? It's more of a blue. This prickly little sea urchin, oh, there we go. Okay, so it's just gonna be a lot of, ooh, sharp looking lines. See how I'm just making a whole bunch of sharp lines coming out of this Thing has a little bit of a center like that. Ooh, prickly, prickly. Imagine if you touch it, you'd go, ouch, wouldn't you? Some of these are really long. All right, there's our sea urchin. Okay, awesome. Notice how the starfish has moved, huh? All right, after the starfish, this is where we went into the deep seaweed and they were all saying, it's dark in here. And do you remember who they met? Ah, yes, the lanternfish. So we're gonna draw the lantern fish up here. The lantern fish is a blue fish with these white lights on it. 
So I'm gonna dig in my crayons here and see if I have a white one. Sometimes, oh, and if you can't find white, even a nice silver would be fine too. Not sure where my white, oh, here's my white crayons, there it is. Okay, and then I need a blue. Put that back here. All right, I like this blue. So over here, I'm gonna draw a lantern fish, okay? So when we do that, we make a little tail, kind of like a triangle. And then we make a body, a line up there like that, and then a little V. And if grown-ups want to help with this, that's okay. This one's a little bit more challenging, okay? And then we put a fin on the top, boop, and a fin on the bottom, boop. Okay, and then we take our white, and we make some nice, bright, white spots on that lantern fish where we see them, boop, boop, boop. And then what I like to do, well, here, let's finish the lantern fish. So then I color the lantern fish in with a little bit of blue, and I give them a little eye. There we go. Okay, can you see it? Okay, now you'll notice it has a little bit of a glow around it. So you can take your white and just rub it on the paper around, just go around your fishy like that. And now it looks like your lantern fish is glowing. Isn't it beautiful? Look at that. Ta-da! You can make more than one too if you'd like to make another lantern fish, okay? All right, let's go. And I think that was the last friend. Oh, and then it found a few pebbles, those really smooth uh, pebbles on the bottom. So we could maybe take like a grayish green color. And then over here, we're gonna make a pile of pebbles, even some brown you could use there. And they look a little bit like eggs, just some egg, and they can kind of stack on top of each other. Look at that. You see them? Over here, one, two, three, and you can make as many as you like. There's a lot of them in the picture. So you can decide how many of these you wanna make. Uh, I'm gonna do one more and one here. Okay, so we've got our pebbles, okay? All right, and I think that was everything, because then it stayed here in this spot, but then the hermit crab realized that it was growing out of that shell and that its friend needed a new one, okay? So I think we're just about done. There's one more thing we need to add to that hermit crab. Did you notice I forgot to make the little mouth and these long, long antenna that they have? So if you take your red, if you'll notice, let's see, oh, here, you can see it better. <laughs> right out here in front, here's the hermit crab's mouth. It looks a little bit like a beak on a bird, doesn't it? So over here, we're gonna make, it's like making a little triangle and then another little triangle and then coloring it like that. <laughs> now our hermit crab has a mouth, and then there's these long antennas, they're black. So let's see if I can find a black in here. Oh, I can. Yeah, you can kind of make those swoop or stand up, because you'll notice in different pictures, sometimes they stand straight up, sometimes they go back. So they start right here between the eyes, right? And they just go whoop, and then it goes another one, there's a little antenna on those hermit crab. They could be long too. And there we go. I think we've got it. And there is your beautiful hermit crab. I hope yours turned out beautifully. And please have your moms and dads and grown ups send me pictures of them. If there's anything else you want to add to your picture, feel free. Or if you want to take some more of these sequins and maybe you want to put them down in the sand, just sparkly things that might be in the sand. That would be super fun. Or if you want to add another lantern fish, please do. And don't forget, sign your name on your beautiful art. That's what you should do. Anytime you make your beautiful art, you want to write your name on it. So you are so proud of what you've done. So I'm going to write my name at the top. And voila, there it is. What do you think? Oh, I can't wait to see yours. Boys and girls, it's been a wonderful week and I have really enjoyed making crafts with you. Thank you so much for doing this with me and I will see all of you very, very soon. Good night.